I, I kind of want to jump into this. This your firm handles complex personal injury cases in areas like trucking, aviation, uh, traumatic brain injury. How did you make the decision? Because there's a lot of ways to grow a firm, right? You could grow the firm through kind of the productization, you know, the rear end collisions and just, you know, kind of a volume practice. And you've taken a different pr approach and been very successful. Decided to focus on these complex cases that are that are different. They're truly unique in a lot of aspects. You know, how did you make that decision when, when, when you were choosing? Well, I guess I need to, we should probably back up and I would tell you that um, I wanted to be, not only did I want to be a lawyer, I wanted to be a trial lawyer. So um, uh, out of school, I prosecuted for a year. And as, as you gathered from my opening story, um, my father was a lawyer. And uh, his father before him was also a lawyer that became a judge in our, our small town in southwest Georgia. And so I, I, was, I was told, I think there was an expectation I would become a lawyer early on, um, but it's actually what I wanted to do. You know, nobody uh, groomed me necessarily to, to, to enter this profession. It's what I wanted to do. Um, and so after prosecuting, or while prosecuting, I did not know at that time whether I would go back to a more rural area of the state and be a general practitioner. I knew that there was no subject in the law that I didn't enjoy in law school. Uh, but I loved the courtroom most. Um, I also had had a lifelong dream, and I think my father did too, that we would one day practice law together. I had a fear that um, if, I, uh, if I came too early, then I might not ever, um, for myself, know whether or not I had what it took. You know? And I also wanted to feel like that I had something to offer when I joined my father, who was very well established and very well known throughout the state and, and maybe in the country. Um, so he had a practice that was established already. Um, and uh, there was a, we went to breakfast one morning and um, I told him I was ready to, to make a move and I really thought that I might go do civil defense if anybody on that side would uh, hire him alone uh, to do insurance defense. Um, or I would open my own practice and he said, well, why don't you just uh, come on and join me in my practice? And I'll tell you that was, I didn't have an instant answer to his invitation. And I'm happy to tell you what I did next if you want to know, but um, yeah, this you asked me, how, how, do, how do we determine what specialty or area of practice we want to engage in? And uh, the area of practice was already established here at this firm, and then I developed my own area uh, after being here. And and what was that area? Well, I became a so catastrophic personal injury, and and yep. in the early early days, um, we most of our cases, and still to this day, most of our cases come by way of offers of association from other lawyers, which is the ultimate, um, I think compliment um, but they were tractor trailer uh, commercial vehicle cases um, some product no, really no auto product but other types of product the last product case I did was a, a, a defective horse trailer where a wheel came off and went across the interstate became airborne and came down like a missile into the driver's side window of our clients car and it was a traumatic brain injury case um, aviation cases because um, I'm a uh, licensed private multi-engine instrument rated pilot and um, have been so since I was 18 years old. So um, I, I knew something about that area and understand the federal aviation regulations. But as I mentioned in the very beginning, um, I, I, this firm was a pioneer in the field of medical malpractice law in, in Georgia and, and really at that time I think in the country. Um, and so I've I'm now 50 years old. I've been around that all my life. And I think I'm mostly known uh, uh, today as a medical malpractice lawyer. 